Hello, today we're going to be making a display for embroidered patches. I sell patches in my booth over at Painted Tree and I do have a video about the Painted Tree. If you have not already seen that video, then please do go and check it out. I'll try to leave a link to it somewhere here on screen. Um, the display that we're going to make today can be used for either patches or stickers and it is quite simple to make. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into making it. So basically what I have is just a piece of foam core here and it is cut at 10 and a half inches. I'm just going to smear some Mod Podge on here and then place popsicle sticks going all along the edge. And I want to do two rows of the popsicle sticks. And I have these smaller popsicle sticks that I save from when I eat popsicles that I buy from the grocery store. And I'm going to place that in a third row along here. When I get to the end of the row, I will just take a pencil and mark this and then use these to cut. I know it's probably not the appropriate thing to do, but these are what work best for me. All right. So these are dry enough. <laughs> so basically what I'm going to do is just go in here with this ruler and take an X-Acto knife and go straight across. And don't drag the X-Acto knife but stab into there so that um, you get a clean cut. And then just fold it like that. It's not going to be perfect, but good enough. And just cut going all the way across. So at least that's what I do. And then you will rinse and repeat for the remaining sections. So I'm just going to do that off camera and then come back. So now I have four pieces. So now what I'm doing is taking some hot glue. Drop my hot glue. I'm going to take some hot glue, run a small bead along here, and I'm going to glue it in the center of this piece. And do make sure to try to line these up as best as you can because you don't want a lopsided piece. And don't be stingy with that glue. Also going to put some on the back just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Okay, 
we're gonna let that piece dry and now the next piece we're gonna do it differently we're going to glue this piece to the back of this other piece You really don't need to worry about how this looks right now because we're going to cover it in a minute. Okay, so now you got one in the center and one in the back. And you will take the one that's in the back and put it about right here and glue it. So I have added the other piece on there. So this is what it looks like. And now I have added a popsicle stick to the back just to sure it up so that it's supported and not top heavy. And I'll go ahead and add two more on either side right here just to give it a little bit more support. Now we're looking pretty good. Now we're in business. And now I'm going to take some more popsicle sticks and glue them along here so that we have a shelf for the front row. Take a piece of cardboard box like this. And what you'll do is you'll lay your little, I don't even know what you call it, on top and take a pencil and draw from corner to corner and this is just so that you can make your um, the little side covers here and that's just a little rough shape that I've drawn here. Take a knife and cut this shape out right here and then you're going to glue it to the side of here. Uh, I'm going to cut that out and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I haven't yet glued these little cardboard pieces to the side yet, but I'm going to. But before I do, I want to take this cardstock, place this shape onto the cardstock, trace it out. Cut it and I'll cut two for each side and glue them on so that the cardboard is concealed. Okay, it's the next day and now all of this has had a chance to dry and I did glue on the sides. So now what I have to do is cut out pieces of cardstock to the same size as this and then take some Mod Podge and glue it on here uh, just to cover up all of these imperfections here and I will do that and then come back oh also you can cut a thin strip to go along this edge here to hide the cardboard and since I let this sit overnight I took my sponge and stuck it in a plastic bag so it wouldn't dry out that's just a fun tip there. You can do that too if you decide to leave this overnight. Well, I'm going to do that and then I'll be back in a few seconds. So here's what the finished product looks like. And I think it turned out pretty good. This is a great way to be able to make shelving for your embroidery without taking up a ton of space and without spending a whole lot of money. I think in total I spent $1.00 for this package of craft sticks and the 50 pack of craft sticks makes two of these um, and then I spent a dollar twenty five on the foam core that I got from the Dollar Tree and the foam core made two just one piece of foam core made two 
And I also had to get some cardstock, and that was also uh, that's something that I already had at home. But you can get cardstock for, from the dollar store for $1.25. dollar twenty-five. So in total, for one of these, I have to add up, and I'll probably put it here on screen somewhere. But I think I spent three twenty-five to make this right here. And I have four of them that I'm making. So this is a good way to do this without having to spend as much money as the other tutorials that I see online where they want you to buy wood from the hardware store to, to make this. Because wood prices are super expensive. Um, and I priced it up at Lowe's and I would have spent $8 to make this instead of 3 So it's just a thought. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and tap that notification bell to receive updates. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content. Peace.